The auxiliary power unit, APU, is located in the unpressurized tail cone. It is a self-contained unit which can make the aircraft independent from external pneumatic and electrical power sources. The APU may be started using electrical power supplied by the aircraft batteries, the external power source, or the engine generator source. The APU provides AC electrical power for the aircraft electrical system and bleed air for engine start and or air conditioning. The APU has an electrically operated air intake flap, which, when it is opened, brings external air to its compressor inlet. Now, we will see how information is presented to the pilots. In the cockpit, you can check the following APU parameters on the ECAM APU page. EGT and compressor speed, APU generator, APU bleed, and air intake flap position. Let's see the different controls that the pilots use to operate the APU. These controls are located in various places on the overhead panel. The APU master and start push button switches are located on the APU control panel. The APU Gen push button switch is located on the ELEC panel and is used to control the APU generator. The APU bleed push button switch is located on the air panel and controls the APU bleed system. During the APU start sequence, at approximately 95% end speed, the APU Avail Memo is displayed on the engine warning display. This is to indicate that the APU parameters are normal and the APU is available to supply electrical power and bleed air. Note, the Avail indication also appears in green on the ECAM APU page. On the start push button the on light goes off, and the green Avail light comes on. As soon as the APU bleed push button switch is set to on, the green APU bleed memo replaces the APU avail memo on the engine warning display. This is to indicate that the APU bleed valve is open with bleed air pressure available. APU fire controls are located on the APU fire panel. For more information on these controls, 
Refer to the fire protection chapter. There are also an APU shut off push button and an associated APU fire warning light located on the external power panel. Refer to the ATA 26 fire protection chapter. There is also an APU emergency shutdown push button located on the refuel defil panel. The APU parameters are monitored by an electronic control box, ECB, which in turn controls the start, the operation and the shutdown of the APU. The ECB initiates a normal shutdown when the master switch is set to off. Note, the APU will stop only after two minutes. For cooling reasons, including the no brake power transfer, NBPT, protection. The ECB initiates an auto shutdown when a monitored parameter is out of limits. For instance, a slow acceleration during start, or a fire has been detected on ground only. Note, the APU will stop immediately. The air intake flap will close 15 minutes after the APU speed is below 7% or after liftoff if the auto shutdown occurred before takeoff. The ECB initiates an emergency shutdown when an APU fire push button is pushed. An APU fire panel or an APU shut off switch is used. An external power panel or an APU emergency shutdown switch is used on the refuel defil panel. Note: the APU will stop immediately. Notice that, in both cases of shutdown, the ECAM action is to set the master switch to off. In order to switch off the fault light and to de-energize the ECB, 